back with Bobby and JG Radio. We are learning everything about the Susan G. Komen and its impact here on the San Antonio metro area. Our next guest is Bree Jamerson. She's originally from San Diego, California, but we'll not hold that against her. She's been <laughs> with uh, the Komen organization for about three years, and she's a program manager there. Um, Bree, I want you to talk to us a little bit about um, the money that is raised from different uh, events and how it helps the people here. Sure, of course. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. We're so excited to be here. Um, so events like our Race for the Cure, which mm -hmm. is our largest fundraiser, and then events all year round. We're here 365 days of the year, not just for race. And so the money that's raised from individual donors and groups and fundraisers um, helps real people like your um, sister-in-law with breast cancer treatment and education and screening services. So we're looking at, um, we're saving real people um, with things like um, education. Edu material. Yeah, education. We're educating them and making sure that they're taken care of. So for the most part, um, besides the race, like what are some other ways that you guys raise money throughout the year? So October is, of course, a very busy time of the year. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, mm -hmm. so everyone's always decked out in pink, and we have groups that help us with put on fundraisers, like things that are fun, like uh, fashion shows yeah. and bake sales. It doesn't have to be big. You can be a part of anything um, as we have companies that do jean days. And so every dollar counts toward our mission and helping yeah. women, you know, get the support that they need. Well, JJ wears pink year round, but this is, like well, the only month, this is the only month where people don't make fun of them. Uh, yeah. Yeah. One, so one month that I squeak by is October yeah. for sure. Um, awesome. Well, but pink. I actually wear pink because I'm pretty red and complected. <laughs> and so it just kind of It's a, gr it. a great hides, color for you. Hides, for sure. <laughs> So, um, so what kind of support? So I know we talked about. So we, you're taking people to chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. You're helping them with um, screenings. You, um, anything else in particular that we don't know about that you guys really use that money for? So we provide. Well, last year we provided over sixteen thousand breast cancer services oh, wow. with the help of Race for the Cure fundraising fundraisers and donors and so what that includes is things like mammograms and transportation to and from chemo appointments so if you think about it think about your mom or a friend or a family member think about them and what would you do if they were diagnosed with breast cancer but they didn't have a car to get to their doctor's appointments right. or what if you know a doctor found you know something abnormal in their mammogram screening and um they needed additional testing but couldn't afford it. Yeah. What, would, what would you do? And so that's where Coleman kind of fills that gap and makes sure that we can do all that we can to you know, be able to provide for the woman, not... Um, Just hope that something happens. Yeah, we want to make sure that they're getting the care that they need sure. and doing everything possible to not, um, you know, allow it to further progress so what what you say women do, do men come to you for oh help? Men yes get men too. get breast cancer too i was going to mention that no, so you it, said women well women and <laughs> men thanks for correcting me <laughs> wait men get breast cancer yes it's rare but they do so it's yes. very important you got nipples <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i guess that's right um, <laughs> so what's the best thing that men and women should do to reduce their risk of of getting breast cancer so we all know um, someone that was diagnosed with breast cancer or, you know, a loved one or a friend. And so we want to do everything we can to fight back against this disease. So we want to make sure, first and foremost, that we know our personal risk, risk of breast cancer. So we want to talk to our doctors. We also want to make sure that you know your family history. There are very many women that we come in contact with that don't realize that an aunt down the line or a grandma was diagnosed with breast cancer. So making sure that you're aware of those things. Um, so if, it's a, if, it, if it runs in the family, chances are your higher chance of getting it, right? Well, actually, it's almost a myth because, yes, it does occur, but it's about 10 to 12 percent of cases mm -hmm. are related to a family health history. So breast cancer does not discriminate. So whether it be age, gender, uh, you know, socio socioeconomic status, it doesn't matter. Um, at most cases, it's, it's random. Mm -hmm. So um, and, and if someone doesn't have like health insurance um, or other resources to get care, like what should they do in this situation? 
they can call us. We're here as a resource, like I said, 365 days a year. We're not here just for race. And so if someone, you know, feels a lump or feels something that's not right. And so that's one other point. You want to make sure, um, you know, if you do feel a lump or you feel something that's not there, you want to make sure that you go to the doctor and get the t- get the care that you need taken care of. So And so they can contact you and then you guys would direct them in either finding a way to get screening or finding something that's affordable to them or even helping them out in some shape, form, or fashion. Absolutely. Okay. For more information on any of this. And so also, just real quick takeaway, if someone, a company or an organization wants to get involved, um, they can also call you guys to, to create an actual event and mm-hmm. that, that would support your cause in some some way yeah they can get involved they can call us not necessarily in october <laughs> not in yeah not in october probably, they're probably not even busy <laughs> the swamp. we right. are very busy but yeah they can call our office email us we're here to get involved it's not only fundraising um we have volunteers that we rely on to help with these events and to get out into the community. So yeah, visit our website, call us, we'll need help, especially for race. Mm-hmm. We have over 500 volunteers just on race day. So we're very proud of that and hope that so if you're, you're not there. Race day, you can yeah, you volunteer. can help with volunteering. So, so if I'm not <laughs> racing, then I'm volunteering. So if you get more information on this, go to the website, that's K-O-M-E-N, that's comensanantonio.org. You can also email them at info at sacoman.net or call them directly at 210-222-9009. Again, that's 210-222-9009. We're going to take a quick break, talk to our show sponsors. We're going to be back and talk to some actual survivors and see their perspective of this disease and how it's impacting the San Antonio metro area. This is Bobby and JJRadio.com. You'll be a fan of our show on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. <laughs> 